Greetings, my friends. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like button. And as well, hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification. It would help out a bunch. Now come, come, my friends. We have a video to watch. Hope you enjoy. Would you look at that? Perfectly good ballistic for us to use against the dragon threat. Now, how the hell does this thing work? Uh, oh god, um, it scared me there, my dear sir. I don't recognize you, Four Eyes, but perhaps you're here to help us. Maybe you could help me out get this ballistic online so we could take down the dragons. Alright, you draw up the silent act. I'm not in the mood currently for it. Atlantide's under attack by dragons and the Demon King, and you are just going to stand there silently while you watch the entire city burn. Ah! This power... What the hell are you? Ah! wasn't expecting that one. Just, what the hell are you? Ah! 
Negotiations are definitely over now after that one. <coughs> You'll be taken down now by the Great Alamos! Sequidot, Leo style. Dragon, claw! I wasn't expecting a barrier here, but no matter. I'm breaking through it! Did I make myself too predictable right there? Focus, focus. I need to talk. Pat, my dear boy, I need to talk to you right now. Hmm. Wait, what? What the? Wait, this is this is the room today. This right here. This is the room that we're going to be dealing with. A little tiny room with two little chairs, just me and you. This feels like like an interrogation, my dear boy, than anything. Well, that sorta is Alamos. You have a lot of explaining to do. And you're lucky that we can even talk right now, especially what's going on. Yes, you can blame one of my silver keys that I had back in the day. Kind of what I'm thinking here. Time seems to slow down in the real world, so we can actually talk normally. Don't know how long, though. I'm kind of being hunted at the moment. Yeah, I saw. Just what the hell is that thing? I have no idea. The only idea that I have at the moment is that this thing has to be part of future Richie's crew. And judging by its immense power, I'm going to assume that this thing is its second in command. Second in command. And it decided to go after you. It didn't decide to go after Richie, it didn't decide to go after Brandon, it decided to go after you? Yes, I don't know why myself that is the case, but... It seems like that is the case. Maybe he just waited until one of us was separated. I mean, from what I re recall as of right now, Brandon and Richie should be working together now. Or at least that's the hope for it. I'm kind of my own right now, making sure that everyone else is safe. So I guess I was easy picking. Easy picking. To the guy who brags to himself as the strongest in the Lantide. And he's taking you down 1v1. You haven't been able to even hit a scratch on it. Yes, I know. I know I haven't been able to even scratch the surface of it. Doesn't help the fact that I've lost some of the magic power that I have during that unison raid with Jupiter. So I'm a little bit worn out at the moment. But even that, even if I was at 100%, I don't know if I'd be able to even fight this thing. This entity, this demon, is something that I've never seen before. And one thing that I'm going to let you know, I... I don't know if I'll be able to defeat it. Especially not the way that I am now. The way that you are now? Um, what do you mean by that, Alamos? <sighs> We've got a lot of explaining to do, so I guess I'll go ahead and sit in this chair for now. There we are. It's gonna be a lot of explaining here, alright? Ready to hear some stuff? Yeah, go ahead. Lay it on me, Alamos. All right, so, as you can see right now, this form that I'm currently in is a partial form of my real form. A form that I don't normally like using, unfortunately, just because of a slight setback. A slight setback? 
What do you mean by that? Can't you just bust the thing out? Do you need like a certain ritual or whatever? No, no, I can access the form at my will pretty much whenever I want to. And I'm telling you right now, this form will maybe be enough to take this thing down. But there is a slight problem with it. A slight problem? Yes, there is a slight problem. So I'm gonna go ahead. I need to walk this one off. Because this is something I'm gonna have to think about for a while. This power is a power that I will be sharing with the Celestial Spirit King. The one and only. The one that rules over my magic and rules over all the spirits. Especially the ones that Jericho uses. The Celestial King. So, you have to make a pact with him during this? Yes, I have to make a pact with the man in order to access this power. But once I do, I am beyond doubt one of the strongest, if not the strongest, in the Lantide. I... I'm just... I don't want to use it. It's too risky. Too... risky? What do you mean by risky? Can't you just access the thing? You said that you would be able to take down this demon foe. With no problem if you accessed it. Yes, I would be able to access it with no problem. But... Anytime you make a pact with the Celestial Spirit King, you have to give something in return. Give something in return? Yes. I have to give him some of the access that I have to my Celestial Spirit powers. Oh. So it's like a trade, kind of. Yes, yeah, somewhat of a trade. The only problem with doing this is if I knew that I was only going to be losing one spirit during this transaction, I wouldn't hesitate to use it. This is quite the situation, after all, that I would be using it. But the problem is my history with the Celestial Spirit King is a confusing one. Something that, uh, <laughs> um, someone that, um, I take power from, we probably should be on these types of terms. He kind of hates my guts. Well, that's not surprising in the slightest, Alamos. You're not one to make, uh, very, very nice friends with. Definitely as of recently. I'm going to ignore that compliment for now, since that the situation is dire, but... If I was in good terms with the Celestial Spirit King, I might be able to make a deal to only use lose one of my own Celestial Spirits. But bet it's been so long since I've talked to him, and the last time we talked, it definitely wasn't the most pleasant. I'm not exactly certain how much power I would lose. Could be possible that I might lose all of my Celestial Spirit power if I access this form. So by doing this, you might win. But you lose everything? Correct. I might be losing everything in the process. I've been trying my best to see if I would be able to take this thing down without having to resort to something so dire. But it definitely seems over time that it's starting to get to that point. This is getting really, really bad. Very, very bad. I'm not even able to scratch the surface of this thing. This thing has a barrier that my Dragon Claw can't even touch. Even with rapid concession, I wouldn't be able to do it. The only thing I might be able to do is maybe roar in its face and it might flinch a little. But... I, ca I can't access that form. I can't access the King form. I can't. It would be too risky. I'd be leaving myself completely vulnerable. And what if my form doesn't even work? What if this demon has something to counter it? Or maybe the dragon gets in the way, or even future Richie gets in the way. And I use it, and then I'm left with nothing. Because I don't know exactly how much power I will have after this. I might have nothing after it. Or I might have some, but it won't be enough to defeat it. Well, Alamos, what are you planning on doing? I... I don't know. I think for the time being, I should be able to use this form. Maybe somebody would be able to help in due time. But... I really don't want to use that king form. I don't. It's our last option, and I don't want to use it. Also, I'd be throwing away everything that I stand for. 
Everything that people of Atlantide from 400 years ago stood for. I don't want to lose everything that they gave me. It's the only thing I have left of them. And if I give that away... I'm nothing. Understood, Alamos. Well, try your best. But do not hesitate to use that form. You got it? I can't believe I'm taking orders for someone like you. But understood. I'll do what I can. I've got a fight to win, after all. See, that's the spirit, Alamos. That's the Alamos I know and love. Every style. Virgo style! Damn it. Dodge one of my signature moves, why won't you? We'll have a load of this! Uh, why aren't my moves connecting? Stand still, damn it! Finally got you, you four-eyed bastard! Ah! Now you stand right there, and I'm gonna hit you with everything I've got! You better not dodge this one! Celestial Dragon Secret Art! Galactic Dragon Roar! What are you doing? It doesn't look like I'm doing. I'm saving your ass. You really got yourself caught up in something bad this time. That talk we just had, where you told me about that power you possess. I think it's time for you to use it. You're kind of out of options here, huh? My power? I already told you already, boy. I might lose everything if I use it. It's too risky. Bullshit, it's too risky. Do I have to explain exactly what true power really is? True power isn't about how flashy your moves are, how much planetary destruction that you can cause. True power comes within. The strongest know when something needs to be done, even if it means losing everything. You might be holding on to your past right now, Alamos, but your past would want you to do this. Push through your fears, Alamos. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Alamos! Do this! Please! Do it! True power isn't about how strong you are. It's about how strong your heart is. Thanks, my boy. I needed that. Alright, you big great bastard that rules over by magic. I know we've never seen eye to eye, and I don't care how much magic I lose, but I need you right here. Come to me, Celestial Spirit King! Through me. I hope you're ready for this. 